Hey everyone, Renee here. I've got my new all mineral sunscreen favorites for you. All mineral sunscreens, also known as physical sunscreens, use mainly two UV filters, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Zinc oxide gives a broad spectrum protection and titanium dioxide is good at UVB protection and UVB is what prevents us from burning. The issue with these two ingredients has always been with cosmetic elegance. Um, they tend to naturally be, you know, chalky, thick, and clumpy. However, I found a few more sunscreens that have just really been great at rising to the challenge. In fact, this year, a few of them are about as good as it gets. I'm going to start with a favorite and probably one of the most flattering for me is this one from Say, their sun visor with an SPF of 30. I already mentioned this in my Sephora VIB cell video, so I will continue the gushing here. The texture and application of this is exceptionally elegant. I mean, not only does it feel really hydrating when you apply it, it's also lightweight and it's also got a really sheer tint to it. When you blend it into your skin, it doesn't leave any obvious pigment. Most tinted mineral sunscreens, even if they're very blendable, they do kind of dry down matte-ish, whereas this is not heavy and it's not greasy. This has that beautiful sort of glossy, flattering, healthy, hydrated skin effect. This is lightly moisturizing. It does have some lovely oils in it like grapeseed oil and argan oil. In fact, it does really have that tinted moisturizer effect or um, a sheer blendable CC cream. You know, it does have some other, you know, lovely ingredients in it as well, like licorice root extract, aloe, you know, glycerin. My only complaint is I do go through this really quickly. Another glowy option with a finish that I love that pretty much doubles as makeup for me is this one from Dr. Sam her Flawless Gossamer Tint with an SPF of 50. So this gives stronger protection. And I love that because it is less common than you think to find an all mineral sunscreen with an SPF of over 30. There are two shades available as well as one that has no tint at all to it. But the shades are actually very blendable. They're very, very sheer. So again, um, it doesn't have to be an exact match because it's not opaque. It just blends out. For me, I thought that the Shade two would be perfect, but actually shade 01 is, it works really well for my skin. So it's not just the elegance and the texture for me. This really does apply beautifully. It blends beautifully, but also it's that glorious dewy finish. And it just does not feel heavy to me. And I've mentioned before that the way in which I prefer to apply sunscreen is in two thinner layers rather than just one big glob. I mean, who wants to just rub in half a teaspoon of sunscreen on their face in one go will take forever. But it is just better protection that way as well and more even coverage. So even then with two thin layers, this just does not feel heavy. And even though it's sheer, it does have a kind of skin perfecting quality to it. Like it does even things out, just make things look healthy, but yeah. So I finally, finally tried out this one from Biore. They're UV Kids Pure Milk with an SPF of 50 and a PA of three pluses. I've always seen this around in the drugstores and I've always wanted to try it because I tend to love the Japanese sunscreens that are for kids um, because they tend to be for very sensitive skin and they usually don't have, you know, the fragrance and and the alcohols that you usually find in their other sunscreens. But this is pretty special because it is an all mineral sunscreen, but also one of the very few all mineral Asian sunscreens that don't leave an intense cast. Um, also, it is biphase as well. So it is actually quite moisturizing as well. So for me, this is another hybrid. So this is a very simple formula, simpler than all the other ones we've talked about, because it really does just have one goal, and that is to protect the skin barrier from the sun. And it does that really well. So it really, the ingredients in here is really focused on making sure that the sunscreen spreads evenly, spreads well, um, that your skin is protected, it's moisturized, and that, you know, this will not wash off or come off easily. So the reason why I think some people may not love this is because of the way it applies. It actually feels sort of oily, even though I don't think it's that oily because it does dry down is it certainly helps with spreading the sunscreen and making sure that it spreads evenly and you get good coverage. So the application is actually kind of good in that way. 
But for those of you with oily skin, it may feel uncomfortable or maybe it just doesn't dry down quick enough. But for me, it does, especially on the body, it dries down and it dries down in a way that really kind of stays. It has staying power, it grips the skin. It has that kind of primer-like smoothing and blurring effect. So makeup sits and sits and glides on really well. It just stays on really well. But a lot of the Japanese sunscreens, you know, do that. You guys know that a few of my all-time favorite mineral formulas come from Supergoop. There's the matte screen, which I love, as well as the CC screen, which is fabulous. So I'm adding a new one to that list, and this one is my favorite so far. Their mineral sheer screen with an SPF of 30 and a PA of 3 pluses. So this is even more perfect for me than the matte screen because it leaves the most beautiful, flattering, and natural finish on the skin. You'll see with a lot of the favorites in my past that most of the really good formulas still leave the skin with a very matte finish, which, you know, during the summer, that's fine, but I just love these new options. These are lightweight formulas though, like this one, again, feels so hydrating upon application, and it just kind of dries down fast and does not feel heavy at all. I don't really even feel this on my skin. In fact, I think this is a great sunscreen for anyone with normal to oily skin because it is so light. If you are someone with very oily skin or if you just don't want to layer too much, then it will even work in lieu of moisturizer as well. When I first applied it, I was swooning because it was so nice. But also they use something called a sheer matrix technology and it's a new technology which allows them to have non-nano zinc oxide and have it just completely blend out without a cast. And I do have friends with darker skin tones than mine who have used this and it blends out on them as well. But if you do have a darker skin tone than me, then it's always important to try out your mineral sunscreens first. Just test it out on your hand first. So I've always liked the mineral sunscreens from Dr. Dennis Gross. In fact, their mineral mist is still kind of an anomaly to me because it leaves no cast at all. It is truly invisible and seriously water resistant. So this new one from DDG, his lightweight wrinkle defense with a broad spectrum SPF of 30. This was also really impressive. It's beautifully lightweight. It's hydrating. It's got that whole, you know, thin, silky texture, which I love. I think that if you have a darker skin tone, there may be a chance that there will be a bit of a cast on you. So definitely make sure to test this out. So this is 16% zinc oxide. It's just a beautiful formula with all these antioxidant rich extracts as well as you know calming extracts for the skin but yeah it's really kind of like a skin treatment as well as you know a sunscreen this is oil free and even though it applies in a creamy way it does dry down fast and leave kind of a nice velvety dry finish but it does feel very hydrating and it actually feels like not just hydrating but it just kind of holds hydration in your skin this definitely has a bit of that primer effect on my skin. So when I use it, it, as it dries down, it just smooths everything out, fills everything in, and is great under makeup. A beautiful reformulation, and in my opinion, an improvement on an already existing favorite, Josh Rosebrook's Nutrient Day Cream with a broad spectrum SPF of 30. This is the ultimate moisturizer sunscreen hybrid. In fact, the first time I used this years ago, I actually didn't realize it was an all mineral sunscreen packed with skin nourishing plant extracts. So this applies beautifully and of course with so much elegance. I find it kind of velvet, slightly matte, but really kind of skin smoothing. So this comes in non-tinted and tinted. And the difference between this formula and the one before is that all the fragrant elements have been taken out. If there were any essential oils previously, there are none in this. But also I feel like there's more of a difference between the tinted and non-tinted. And this is just my experience because with the original, I felt like whether I use the tinted or non-tinted version, they both they both applied without a cast. Whereas I feel like with this new formulation, the tint almost has a little more of a tint and is even more blendable across different skin tones. I love the color it imparts on my skin. It looks makes everything just look so healthy, but at the same time, it's just not obvious. It doesn't give like coverage. It just kind of evens everything out and perfects everything. And just again, gives, gives me some healthy, some healthy color. I want to talk about a new sunscreen powder. You guys know I love my sunscreen powders because I just love using it to reinforce an already good 
base. And a lot of times I focus mainly on areas where I tend to have more hyperpigmentation. Um, and this one, this new one is really kind of elevated. From IS Clinicals, their Perfect Tint Powder with an SPF of 40. So there are a few things that I do enjoy and appreciate about this. This definitely is a more elevated experience than the previous powders that I've tried. This is a little bit more expensive than the Color Science, which is, you know, the OG for me. So first and foremost, this powder contains 25% zinc oxide and it only has eight ingredients in it and most of which are just really good skincare ingredients as well. There's also you know, glycerin in it. So it's also kind of a hydrating formula in a weird, weird way. But what's really cool is it has cartridges that you can exchange. And this is pretty new right now. So I'm not sure if you can get the cartridges separately, but I'd like to believe that you will be able to. But also it comes in five different shades. So there are five different shades of powders to suit your skin tone, even though this is really quite translucent. I'm using the shade cream right now, which just melts into my skin. Although I have also used bronze as a bronzer. And I do love the fact that I can exchange it any time. So if I'm done using the cream and I want to use the bronzer, I can just unscrew this and put the cap back on and then use the bronzer cartridge. So the brush in and of itself is a revelation. It just adds so much to the user experience. This is lush, um, but also it dispenses the powder bountifully. So you never have to guess whether you're getting enough on your skin. You are. But yeah, this brush is so soft. It's so plush and it's so densely packed and it feels like I mean, it just feels so nice when you're applying it on your skin. Um, but yeah, you can really get a good amount on your skin. But like I said, the powder just kind of melts into your skin. So it doesn't even look like you have powder on. It doesn't even look cakey, even though I have applied a lot. Um, so it definitely is oil absorbing. So if you have any shiny areas, this will just suck all that oil up and it's mattifying but also at the same time it's not so mattifying that it looks unnatural so this has some skin nourishing protective ingredients but it's also one of those new hydrating powders that is becoming more prevalent all in all it's just a very refined application as well which i really love it's a great it's actually a really nice powder there's no scent to this at all it's just a very simple formula so that's it, everyone. These are my favorite new all mineral sunscreens that I've tried over the last year. If you want to see some of my drugstore favorites choices, then I will link that down below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.